Today, I'm playing with Caboose TV. Hey, what's up? We filled this board with 25 challenges, and the first player to beat each challenge gets a spot on the board. Whoever claims the majority of the board first wins. We started with very different strategies. I jumped into the regular solo show, while he used an alternate playlist, which only features levels from Season 3. I started with Lily Leapers, which is one of the best first rounds I can ask for, since one of the challenges is getting a gold medal on a Season 5 level. I'm well on my way to completing this until an unfortunate bump knocks me off the lily pads. Oh, oh, that's not good. I needed the gold here. Meanwhile, Caboose got a gold medal with ease in his first round, so he makes progress on qualifying in Season 3 levels and getting three gold medals in a row. I'm not getting the gold medal anymore, so I decided to switch my objective and try to qualify last on round one. This is risky, because there's usually a very small window to take the last spot. If I miss it, I have to re-queue and wait for another lobby. There's only two spots left here, and a tight group of three is approaching, but one of the qualified players actually left the lobby. This gives me about one third of a second to squeeze in this last spot and put my first point on the board. Before we continue, did you remember seeing that includes paid promotion thing on the top left? That means this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. You've probably heard of them by now, but Raid Shadow Legends is a game where you can battle against other players in PvP or team up with other players in massive PvE boss battles. I like turn-based combat, so if that's your thing, this game should be right up your alley. Raid has over 600 playable characters called Champions, but the bosses are where this game really shines. For example, this is Bomal the Dreadhorn. If that name isn't cool enough for you, he's a lava rhino that throws bombs at anyone who stands in his way. If you want a chance at beating this explosive general, you'll have to fight fire with fire, or bombs with bombs in this case. Even if you know about Raid already, they're always updating the game with new stuff, like Forge Pass Season 3, where you can get your hands on the limited edition artifact set and new skins for Madame Ceres. And by popular demand, Ultimate Death Knight is coming later this month. The classic beloved champion finally gets the glow up he deserves. Click the link in the description or scan this QR code and you've got yourself $30 worth of bonuses from the jump. This includes a free epic champion Rector Draft, 200k silver, an ancient shard, XP boost, and an energy refill all waiting for you right here. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring, and let's get back to the action. Right now it's 1-0, and while Caboose is trying to get three gold medals in a row, I'm trying to get three pink medals. So all I have to do on DoorDash is finish in the bottom 50%. Meanwhile, Caboose is trying a shortcut on Freezy Peak to get his second gold medal. Let's see how that goes. No! What do you mean? Ironically, if he just did the level normally, he'd probably get the gold medal regardless. Unfortunately, my pink medal streak ended when I got Jump Club, where it's only possible to get a gold medal. What I tried to do here is be the last eliminated in a survival round, but the last three people got eliminated really quickly. There's gonna be 8, 9... Ah, I made it on accident. Next round, I had another shot at the gold medal in Season 5, but I was blocked from grabbing the penguin by this barricade. It would have been crushing if one of these guys in the water took my penguin, but I still managed to qualify. My final is Fall Mountain. Making it to this specific level is another one of the challenges, so that brings the score to 2-0. If I win the match here, that gives me a 3-0 lead over Caboose but I'll need a flawless run to make that happen. I'm leading a tight group of four here, but jumping in this low gravity part allows me to keep my lead. The balls on the left took care of one, and the other two guys swerved to the outside. Just as I thought I was home free, someone used an obstacle to propel themselves back up to me, but I took the crown just in time. Let's switch back to Caboose's perspective. He's down by three points right now, so it's time for him to start putting together a comeback. Luckily, he got Penguin Pursuit, an ideal round to qualify with Without touching blue. He literally just did nothing, and his team was good enough to carry him. Come on, yellow team! Do it! You guys got this! He touched a blue player and a penguin here, but since those aren't part of the level, we decided it still counts. That puts Caboose's first point on the board. Caboose finds a huge opportunity in the next match where he can potentially complete several challenges on the same round. However, when he starts grabbing other players, they actually fight back, and then this happened. Oh, I got somebody hug me! I got somebody to hug me. Let's go. I'm dead. 
He wasn't even the last to get eliminated, so he walked away from this one without making any progress. Although he did get his second point after this for finishing the Season 3 levels. I'm looking to extend my lead, and I find the perfect opportunity to get a silver medal on one of the circuits, which means that I have to finish in the top 20%. I had a terrible start here though, as everyone else prevented me from grabbing this ledge. I've got my work cut out for me if I want to finish top 5. The pink lasers really came in clutch for me here, as they allowed me to get some separation from the rest of the crowd. Even little things like using the spring pad here to boost me make a big difference. On lap 2, I'm trailing the current top 5 by about 3 seconds. Once again, the lasers come in clutch and allowed me to overtake 5th place. I finished the round with this super sexy glide using the spring pad. Oh, wow, look at that glide. That's silver medal, baby. I decided to prioritize no jumping and no falling since those challenges don't hold me back on most levels. Staying upright gets a little tricky on these downward slopes, but I balanced myself out by walking backwards at the bottom. Then I stayed on the very edge of the level to avoid the swinger. Oh, I can't believe we did that. I qualified last for style points and made progress on both challenges. Lily Leapers is perfect for no jumping, since the level does the jumping for you. And I finished the no jumping challenge on Tundra Run and extended my lead to 5-2. Meanwhile, Caboose is competing with this long guy to secure the gold medal on a Season 5 round. They both try to take the middle path here until the frog blocks them and they split up. I gotta do the dive strategy where I dive through. No, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Please give me first, please give me first! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Caboose barely manages to squeeze out the win here and bring it back to 5-3. I don't like the fact that he's catching up to me, so it's time to kick it up a notch on Slime Climb. I decided to try squads instead of solos since it's easier for me to qualify if I have teammates helping me. Trouble is, I don't know how many people are qualifying, let alone what place I need to finish in. My solution? Finishing first is the only way to make sure I get the medal. There were a ton of people ahead of me on this one, but everyone fell off at the end, so I still managed to finish first. Luckily, one other person qualified on my squad and secured the gold medal for us. The very next round, I got Hexagon as my final, bringing me 4 points ahead now. Caboose is in need of a major comeback, and he starts by winning his second gold medal in a row when the guys in front of him were stopped by the lasers. They're messing up! Perfect! Thank you guys for sucking at this game! He's also attempting to make it to the final without respawning, so if he can get both of those done in the same match, that would make it a two-point game. He starts to get lucky again with Jump Club on round three, where he can easily secure a gold medal if he doesn't fall off. And then this happens. I'm getting grabbed! <laughs> That was an extremely close call, but he managed to get three gold medals in a row. After clearing one more course, he made it to the final without respawning. Caboose extends his streak when he finds the last big Yidus he needs on Seesaw. We're at 7-6, and I'm officially struggling right now. I try to be the last one eliminated in Block Party, but I miss it again when everyone blocks me from jumping off. No, I didn't make it in time! About a minute later, Caboose swoops in and takes the spot, tying us up with 7 points each. Yes! I was the last eliminated! Okay, good. Now I can cross that off. While both of us were trying to beat levels without falling over, Caboose finds the perfect spot to grief people and push them off the whirly gig. If someone messes up in this last section, they respawn on this platform right in front of him. He can grab them as soon as they jump, and they won't see it coming. One. Two griefs? No, come on, one more, one more, one more. Three griefs. He's on a five point streak now while I'm still stuck at seven. While Caboose was griefing people, I was staying focused on not falling over. DoorDash is the last level I need here, which most people think is impossible not to ragdoll on because of the cliff at the end. But if you dive at the right time, you can slow down your momentum so the impact doesn't knock you over. My experience from the no falling challenge helped me with this one. Soon after this, I finally found my opportunity to get three pink medals in a row. So the level I needed to finish this challenge was tail tag. For this one, I need to hold a tail for less than 20 seconds to get the pink medal. Take my tail, I don't want it. Thank you. So with 10 seconds left, I lock onto my target and use the slope to gain speed. Then I dive and grab the tail at the very last second. <gasps> I got it! Yes! 
As fate would have it, Caboose and I ended up targeting the same challenge again. I was the first to make it to Volleyfall, but you're not going to believe how this match went. My opponent seemed to be AFK at first, so I got the first point for free. They started moving after that, and when I hit the ball back at them, it got sent to the left for some reason, like it hit some invisible barrier. That was an unfortunate glitch, but I figured I could still get the W. So I put two more points on the board, and it was their turn to serve. But when the ball hit the net on their side, it somehow gave them a point instead of me. That's twice now that this level glitched out for me. We ended up going into overtime at 4-4, and the ball got sent at the wrong angle again. That should have been a layup for me if the ball didn't glitch three times in the same round. Caboose got this same level right after me and easily got the gold medal. To make matters worse, he had made it through all of the rounds before that without diving and got to the final right after Volleyfall. Just like that, he takes back the lead 9-10. Both of us had been trying to convince people to grab us back throughout the course of this video, but no one was receptive until I found someone towards the back on full tilt. I grabbed him aggressively, about 7 times until they stopped and looked at me. Eventually, I convinced them to grab me back. One of these last remaining tasks is to touch 5 fruits in the same round. Caboose figured out a strategy using the Season 3 playlist from before. There's a variant of Tundra Run, which fires fruit out of the cannons instead of snowballs. So he re queued until he got that variant. One fruit! Two fruit! Three fruit! Four fruit! FIVE FRUITS! Meanwhile, I found my chance to complete that last level-specific challenge on Hoopsie Legends. Luckily, I spawned as the closest one to this hoop, so I could spend the rest of the time searching for a gold one. Eventually, I discovered this group of six guys trying to reach a gold hoop and saw my chance. First, I grabbed the ramp and pulled it away from the rest of them, so I had some time to get in position. Three others tried before me, but the ring rotated at just the right time for me to snag it. I had attempted social distancing a couple times before this point, but I kept getting eliminated because staying away from everyone requires me to slow down. So ultimately, Caboose finished the three levels without touching anyone and made the score 11 to 12. Yes! Last place without touching someone! Let's go! There are two spots left on the board, and neither of us realized how difficult these last two spots would be, because they rely on other players. So after a half hour of trying to complete these, we decided to settle this with a true 1v1, where the last guy standing gets a point. So in order to take this home, I need to survive longer than him twice in a row. Our first match commences with everyone's favorite speedrunning level, Lily Leapers. Of course, we're both qualifying here, but I finished first for the extra style points. In the second level, Skyline Stumble, Caboose got first place, and then we got Snowball Survival, one of the most difficult and random levels to qualify on. Caboose is going out of his way to mess with me here, but the Snowball has my back. You idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. <gasps> oh, I outlasted you! I survived only two seconds longer than him, and tied it up at 12-12. So this last match decides everything. On roll-off, Caboose got first again, but I was able to overtake the guy in front of me for second place. We were both out in front after that on Dizzy Heights, and had the exact same idea to sabotage each other. <laughs> we both tried it. But once again, Snowball Survival decides our fate. Caboose had two close calls here at the start. Going to teach you a lesson. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Then I had a close call of my own, but I jumped off the wall to survive. Peggy's dead? Peggy's no, dead? no, I'm not. Finally, this is how our three-hour battle ended. <gasps> no! No! Yes! 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 Go check out Caboose's channel as well as my new Discord server. Links to both are in the description. See ya.